Good morning, everyone. Blue Knight here, and today I've got some more Spire Ray Knight trilogy news as well as more Skyrim's Academy Season 3 screenshots. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, all, I want to discuss the Spire Ray Knight trilogy new footage and uh, new screenshot of Bianca. Well, first off, I'm going to start with Crush, the new gameplay teaser of the boss fight with Crush from Spyro 2 Ripper's Rage in the Reunite Trilogy. It looks pretty good, um, considering I never played Spyro 2 Ripper's Rage, the original. It still looks pretty darn good. Uh, actually, I think this is our first footage at a boss fight in the Spyro Reunite Trilogy. Uh, but if you do look closely, you can see Ripped out in the background. Uh, you can't make him out very good, but he's there. Um, okay, now we got the revealed redesign of uh, Bianca from the Spire Year of Dragon, the third game in the Ring Knight trilogy. She looks more like an upgrade in textures than an actual redesign, which is alright, I mean, I like that. She now has a wand, um, that you can also notice the front room of a sorceress. With a lot of those will like egg themes and the uh, wings and stuff like that. There are now stained glass windows, unlike in the original. I don't know how that will work in the intro cutscene. Okay, that's pretty much all I got for Spyro Reunited. Now on to the new Skyrim Academy Season 3 screenshots. These screenshots were posted on the updated Skyrim Academy website under the gallery section for Season 3. I'm only going to discuss a few of these clips though, um, our screenshots. So, this first one, uh, a lot of people were saying could be Darkspire after, after he finds out that the Skylanders find out there's a mole. That could be the case. It's the instance I can think of why Darkspire would be panicking. Here's one of Pop Fizz. I'm guessing we might get another Pop Fizz centered episode. I don't know. Now, this one with Flynn. That looks like it could be a very pretty funny scene. So it looks to me Dark Spyro don't want to do what Flynn says, and Flynn's telling him to do it anyways. Uh, that's what I think of his picture. You know, one with Stealth Elf and Dark Spyro. And this one's probably the most interesting one right here, um, with Chaos and Glumshanks. Now, um, now to me, what got my interest of this picture is what the thing is that Chaos is wearing. It looks to me like the Iron Fist of Arcus from Skylanders Giants. Of course, this time it don't look like it's turning him into a robot, because if you look at the toward the bottom the picture, it looks like he's controlling the robot, if that's what it is. The Arcane Conquertron. I mean, that's... And the location in the back looks similar to where the Arcane Conquertron was in the trailer. Um, so, it seems like they're incorporating more Giants elements into this season, and it could be what the treasure is that Chaos and his crew are looking for. If you remember back during one of the script leaks by Wolfgang's voice actor, he mentioned, like say, a treasure hunting episode, so it could be Chaos is looking for this, or the Iron Fist of Arcus is the artifact Spyro, Dark Spyro's is for a tree for Strikor. But it's more likely it's the treasure a chaos is looking for. And you notice the top of the Ar Arcane Conquercon top of the head is kind of blurred off in any of the scenes in the trailer, so you can't really see who or what is up there, but I'm going to guess it's Chaos and Glumshanks, just by going to the angle of the screenshot. Here's a few more screenshots. Um, but some of them were involved, well, this one was already in the clip, but it just released my movie phone. Here's another one. I'm guessing from the same episode with Jetvac. Um, so yeah, I'll play this clip for you. It was a pretty funny clip actually, especially when Hugo gets in there. Anyways guys, thanks, thank you so much for watching. I've been Blue Knight, and don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe for more videos coming to you at Speech Sound. You can also find me on, over on Twitter, on Sonic Stadium, my Blue Knight v blog, and over on Patreon, become a patron, and my channel, my site, become next level source for you can use. So once again, guys, if I left anything out, let me know in the comment section below. I've been Blue Knight, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.